and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko. Hinda, very mean. Welcome to it, ladies and gentlemen. It is another edition of Podcast and Chill. Today I'm chilling with someone who creates, he acts, he directs, he represents, aka Lungster. Chavo. What's happening, dog? What's going on, doggy? What do they call you? Big money steez. Nice and knees. <laughs> Where does that come from, dog? <laughs> Good question. Yeah. Um, so this one time, I was in Botswana. Mm. I Botswana. had a gig. I think I was hosting. I uh, decided to take my friend, Mark, Mark yeah. Mapela, along. You know, Mark has always wanted to be a, an artist, you know, so... We get there in Botswana, we meet other artists, and Mark is like, ah, oh, man, you know, I want to record some stuff. And then they take us to his studio, and then we start lacing some tracks. And I'm there as hype man. And so, yeah. so, yeah, that's where it came from. And we just ran with it, man. We've got like seven tracks together. Is so, it? I'm like the hype man in the... the yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I've got like, you know, I'm a hype... Sessions, yeah, 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 yeah. He's got the lyrics, he's got the yeah. <laughs> wow, dude. Anyway, thanks for coming through, bro. Thank you, dog. Thank you, Good thank you. Me, thank you. Remember the last time we here. met? Uh, let, let me tell you guys the story. Last time we met, we're having tequilas. No, we no, not that time. And the sense, I mean. We met quite a few times. I mean, with and it's always been a good time. Yeah. yeah, no, yeah. And I, at the sense, we got drunk, and I never knew you could go down like that, dog. <laughs> sure, 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 sure. Not a lot, no. You know, gotta show these young and something. And so, yeah. Nobody is so good. I still got it, boy. <laughs> so the last time I remember, I came here because um, I wanted to pitch some shows to you. Yeah. I actually came with Len. Oh, yeah, I remember that. And we pitched like three or two shows. And basically, you told us in a very nice way that they were trash. <laughs> And we never came back ever since. <laughs> yeah, that's what it's so hard for me to remember that. <laughs> no, man, look, um, you know, I, I get a lot of those pitches and proposals. And, yeah. toilet, and then the only thing you can do is be honest. You know, uh, me saying that it was trash was not supposed to scare you off, but make you come back with even more mm, young toilet greatness. With, with more greatness. You have checked your concept. Yeah, it's okay, sharp. I've made it to another element. So, yeah, man, look. There's no such thing as a new idea, but it's how you present your idea that makes it fresh and new. But you also went through the same thing because yeah. before you started the company, mm. I'm sure people were like, nah, dude, this content's not going to work. This even company's today, not work. even now. Till this day. Dude, till this day, my dog, if it wasn't so, parental advisor, you know, we still need to convince people that the wow. stuff is the ish, you know? And yes, that should be the right way to do it or else. Everyone would be just putting up their shows, thinking that they've got the next greatest idea out there. But you, you, you deliver such good content, dog. I'm talking yeah. about Forever Young. Uh, well, I was telling you of uh, the, the uh, show that I like. Love. Mo Love. Manja and Lexi. You know? Uh, Abu Mama. Mm. Um, Zansi Footballers. Gold Diggers. Yeah. Um, it's, it's endless, man. And it's just, it's just the beginning. Yeah. Yeah, it's just the beginning in terms of the concepts, the other concepts that we have. You know, some of them are still coming. Some of them, it's it's, it's hard to convince the, the the you know the people who own the platform with yo guys. This is what South Africa wants to see. This is what Africa wants to see. How do we pay our dues? They tell us no. Go do your homework even more. Mm. Answer this question. Answer that question. You know. Mm. So yeah, we we're busy with that at the moment. You you have to fight for your thing. All right. So listen, before we get into uh, parental advisory productions, yeah? sure. Uh, let's take it back from when you started, because just like myself, I started as a presenter yeah. and you also did in 2003 yeah but just like me i didn't study for it it was sure. like a god-given talent yeah. and so was yours yeah uh, run me through the journey from 2003 from 2003 mm-hmm. uh when i got into channel o that yeah. was my first uh, presenting gig then after How that was the audition? Ah, it was dope, man. They, ah, I get Leo Buba, I like, get. You know, I, I could do that in my sleep. That's <laughs> all. Like, speaking about music, yeah, and, and dialect, and ah, come on, ah, that was nice. That was so after the, the interview or the audition, you knew you bagged it. Look, I mean, I thought there would be other dope people who came through to the audition. So, bangas, would see. Will I make the count of the other dope people? I knew I was dope. 
I, I didn't have to question myself. He had that much confidence? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you hadn't been on TV ever? Well, I've done a few ads. Oh, you've know, done a few, a few ads. ads? I was being act tongue jive of Maria. Oh, yeah, I that's why you made some easy ones. You won't win some easy ones. Yeah, no, I'm so amazing. I'm not like Aslam. I'm so amazing. 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 So, yeah, I made him there. But no, this was just ads. I did like two ads before then. So, after Channel Low, I got into another presenting audition, uh, presenting gig in Malimania, which yeah. is like a national lottery thing. So now, you know, I'm fairly young. Were you doing that okay. uh, simultaneous, simultaneously with Channel yes, Low? Yes, I was, okay. you know. So, but this, this was different for me now. Now I had to come across as more uh, uh, um, grown up, mm, mature. more mature. Yeah. You know, I can't be lapung like that. Sure, sure, big money stays, it's covered. Yeah. Okay. And so yeah. now uh, to be in Kulana, I'm a mama lapel. Yeah. And so, that, so that was uh, challenging for me, funny yeah. enough. But then I enjoyed it. I enjoyed playing that part, mm. you know. And then one get I'm a fear factor. Um, Fucking hell, you did fear factor. Yeah, yeah though. Brother. Big brother. What have you done, dog? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's a good question. That's a good question. <laughs> and then, yeah, man, up to this year, um, I, I, well, my first acting gig was Rhythm City. Do you right? think that, do you feel that was a game changer? In terms of people yeah. now taking you seriously as yeah. uh, an artist, as a performer? Sure, sure. Yeah, definitely was, you know, because even, you know, actors themselves were like, they were shook. Why, why are you bringing us this presenter, dude, man? Bring us a proper best man, man. <laughs> I'll get a big body, shit, <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, um, hey, man, I, I had to hit the road running with that. Young Toil, I learned so much uh, from the people who I was around. It was definitely a game changer in my career. Yeah. You know what I mean? Definitely. I mean, now, today, I've just done my first feature film because of that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Now, while you're doing all this TV and uh, presenting and acting, what are your parents saying? Because you know, black parents, they want us to be accountants, doctors. Oh, my lady chilled. My lady chilled. My lady had a problem at the beginning because I was studying law at Wits University, right? And uh, it threw me over the edge, you know, and I tried to uh, continue with uh, my studies at other institutions of my uni, but my heart wasn't there. Yeah. And then Molly was like, yo, man, you better just finish off your degree. I was like, no, I'm not going to get a TV thing. It's calling. Let me commit. Let me make something out of it. Yeah. I was, so, I mean, I eventually took the leap of faith. I, behind her back, I guess, and started this TV thing. Yeah, I bought, but luckily in 2003, mm. I started making a proper income. And I was like, look, ma. Look, if I just if I just commit myself, this is what could happen, and this is just the beginning, you know. Mm. So after then, she was willing to listen More to what I had to, mm. yeah, to say. You know what I mean? Mm. Yeah. So when I just kept on growing and growing and growing from strength to strength, production to production, challenging myself, she was actually proud. She was like, "Yeah, actually, I can see you're enjoying this. Uh, yeah. it, you know, it brings you life, boy. Go get him, son. <laughs> Woo, I want to tell my friends." <laughs> And everybody, <laughs> you know, so I yeah, know that that's how it happened with the parents. And did you ever get rejected at uh, auditions? Plenty of times. You kidding? Yeah, oh, man, the you. Plenty of times. Plenty of times. Which um, auditions uh, did you get rejected at that someone got? Um, um, um. Oh man, I mean, it's been a long time as well. Mm, <laughs> mm. But uh, ooh. I got rejected one of my first auditions that I did before Channel Low. It was the Take Five auditions. It was the open auditions in town and whatnot. I made it so far, like you remember those like packed and whatnot. I made it like in the top twenty or something crazy like that. And then uh, I got you know thrown out the window somehow, some way. Yeah. Uh, what other gig did I really want? And I watch on TV and I was like, man, that should have been me. That should have been me. Yeah. Mm. Sports. I once auditioned for a sports anchor role. Okay. Yeah, yeah. super sport. Actually. Super sport. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ah. And, yeah. Like Robert Morrow vibes. Yeah, like Robert Morrow vibes. Yeah. You would have killed it, dog. I think so too. You, you know, know why you would have killed it? Because sure. I remember I'm a sports guy. I'm a sports fanatic, no especially yeah. soccer. Yeah. I love Man United. 
Isa enyo shawa fanda khumba. Enyo shawa fanda khumba. Hey, Hari hey, 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 twa da. Hari twa. The journey was nice while it lasted. Maybe you might make the top 4. And so it was one. Maybe you might just play Champions League again yeah, next year, yeah. you know. But you say yeah. So I'm saying I love soccer, right? Yeah, yeah. And I love traveling. Sure. Those are two things I love. Yeah, yeah, If I have money, those are two things I want to do, you know. No doubt. Um and then here you are, I'm watching you on TV. Yeah. And I see this dope ass show cool concept oh, yeah. gold diggers oh, i'm man. like fuck that should have been me oh, that was <laughs> one of my loves as well young so i'm telling you after all these other rejections of shows that i thought i would have been good at like a sports anchor show comes this show Young Twitter Gold Diggers. It's not just about soccer, not just about sport, but lifestyle. it's about traveling and yeah. lifestyle. I'm like, "Cuz, yeah, <laughs> you are the real one, you know?" Would oh, you say dude. that's the best presenting gig you've ever had? It has to be, bro. Mm. It's definitely up there in the top five. Man, it's definitely up there in the top five. Yeah, but I, I finished like two passports on that gig. I was like three seasons of just traveling. Making me jealous. Yeah, I'm in Israel, Europe. You know, I'm going to the next in Europe. You know, I'm sorry. Now my Instagram, what you are doing? No post, I go to. Ha ha ha! Been there, been there. Three passports. No man, but yeah, that was like a blessing, a blessing in my life. Yeah. And uh, if you ever like plan on doing a rerun, because you know some people do rerun of shows. Yeah. Please can I present uh, Gold Diggers? Yeah, 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 yeah. But to open the industry, to open the industry with other shows, I Gold Diggers, I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. Ah, no, look, man, I'd still hold the Gold Diggers down. Yeah. I won't lie to you. How's marriage life, bro? Oh, marriage life is tough. Mm. Marriage life is beautiful. Can you imagine? Fat and Zet is tough. Imagine marriage life. Are you fat Zet? Yeah, man. Oh man, for how long? Uh, it's been three years now. Three years! Yeah. Damn, I can How did you get away with that? <laughs> Tell us the secret. I would have been married if that was the case. <laughs> ah, dude, you need to write a book or something. <laughs> no, 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 Jeff. <laughs> hey, look, your your woman is strong, dog. <laughs> three years, what can set you? You're also strong, I guess. <laughs> wow. Um, no, man, look. <laughs> Marriage is a marriage is a beautiful thing. Yeah. Uh you, you've got your lifelong partner who's there, you know, and you guys are more in a structural uh unit of form yeah. than just a fat and set, you know. But um, when you're ready and you feel it's right, it, it yeah, comes naturally. Yeah, right? look, man, I'll tell anyone, don't do it unless you're ready. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, don't do it. I've told many of my friends, you know, don't do it. <laughs> don't do it because you yeah, that's like a commitment and a half. Yeah, for a know? lifetime. For a lifetime, you know, and uh, even though things happen, uh, with the knowing which say, I don't want anything to happen in this uh, sacred relationship. So, so God forbid, but if you guys divorce, are you on that Jeff uh, Bezos trip? Mm, what's that? Where you gotta um, do a share your assets and stuff. Ah, duh. Is it called? Co- uh, um, um, community of property, yeah. prenuptial thing. Uh, well, prenuptial, uh, yeah, prenuptial, yeah, yeah, that's what they call it, though. But <laughs> <laughs> she just take it, take it, take it. <laughs> yeah, she gotta take. <laughs> Cause that nigga, he was a billionaire, right? Yeah, One of the richest like, guys oh ever. Man, God forbid that will ever happen. <laughs> you know what I mean? So he he, uh, he caught uh, he was caught cheating mm. with a mistress, and then the woman took half of his money. She's now the fourth richest woman in the world. Yeah, well, you know, rightfully so, because she helped him make yeah, that money, yeah. you know, while his cheating ass was out there doing what cheaters do. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm watching Forever Young, I think, and it's yeah. leading up to the wedding, right? I'm watching your woman. It's the first time I've ever seen your woman in public, in the public eye, you know? Oh, yeah? Yeah, and I'm like, geez, this woman is smart. She's mm. beautiful. She's loyal, because I believe she's been with you from the beginning, right? Something along those lines. Yeah, high school sweethearts, yeah. Wow. Yeah, high school sweethearts. Shit, that's crazy, dude. Yeah. So she was there from the jump. From the jump of what? Like high school? Be- be- no, be- <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what about primary school? I was the man then, too. <laughs> <laughs> no, like before your looks the looks the uh, video. Yeah, man. Yeah, 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 yeah. She's been there since the beginning of my career. Wow. Yeah, she's been there, seen my ups and downs, seen me make it from Lung Lakha to to Lung Star, baby boy, big money, mm. steezy, steezy. Young um, Tora. Yeah, yeah. How did yeah. you guys actually meet? At a debate. At a debate, uh, she went to a girls' school. 
mm. St. Andrews, mm. and I went to a boys' school, Kez, yeah. and we were debating against each other at her school. Mm. And uh, I was. Are you into Kez? Yeah, I went to Kez. Hey, you guys used to fuck us up. What I school? Went, Hyde Park. Ah, so. That's not good, no good more than I did. Were we even the same levels? Like, uh, I think, did you play against us? I think I'm rich. I think I'm rich. Yeah, yeah, I'm like, I'm fine. I think I used to go to your socials more than the sporting yeah, events. Yeah, 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 yeah. You guys had a reputation, I thought. Yeah, yeah. yeah, but you guys were the cool guys. Yeah, yeah. we were. The bad boys of Joe Bird. I won't lie. Yeah. I won't lie. No one do so. That's <laughs> like, got the Puma Hyde Park. <laughs> yeah, so you had a debate. Yeah. yeah, we had a debate. Um, you know, uh, I was about to speak. Young told us, so I'm serious, taking down notes from one of the ladies who's speaking because I'm about to rebuke, you know. I get a note coming in from the back there. It's a bunch of girls and it's a bunch of guys, and I don't know who it comes from, but I'm thinking they're going to tell me what to add on to the rebuttal, right? So I open it, and it's like, hey, hi, cutie, there in the corner. Mm, hey, now. I look around, I'm in the corner. That sounds like an old school DM. Yeah, dog, listen, <laughs> man, back in the day. <laughs> Young daughter, she slid in, what are you? So I look back, I, I don't see who it is, obviously. I'm like, okay, I'm gonna answer, because I'm gonna put my cars, you know? I'm gonna answer. It was up. We said, like, what's what we said, I'm gonna yeah, we exchanged. We were like, yo, let's meet after the debate. I'm waiting for after the debate. And like, a couple of them, I'm like, yes, so I'm when you are mine. Yes. And uh, the rest is history. I date my Mac. Yeah. And um, mm, she's my wife now. Yeah. Yeah. Now, for those 2000s who don't know, probably, um, dude, you were like an it guy back in the days, dude. Ah, he ain't that in there now. It guy is like the guy that all the girls want. You make the girls wet. Woo! <laughs> woo, woo, woo! Woo! You know, when you talk about the African it guys, it's you, Caesar Tloba, you know? You guys open the floodgates for warm ups and uh, who's this? Lunga Chavalala, those guys. So during that time when you're an it guy, no? yeah. and all these ladies are feeling you, how challenging was it for, for your, your relationship? <clears throat> uh, TV was challenging for my relationship, you know? But it was cool because we started before TV, you know, so... There was a foundation. There was a foundation laid, you know, and uh, she understood that a lot of things might change, a lot of things might get to my head, um, <coughs> you know, there's going to be a lot of travel involved. Uh, and we were young when we started dating mm -hmm. as well, so mm -hmm. we didn't put too much pressure on each other because we were both, uh, you know, we were both just finding ourselves. Yeah. Yeah, as I said, we're high school sweethearts, yeah. you know. By the time I'm out of varsity and she's out of varsity and my TV's popping, you know, a lot of things happened. There was makeups and breakups here and there between mm. my wife and I. So it wasn't just smooth sailing yeah, for all these years. Yeah. No, 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 it was real, man. Yeah, it was yeah. real because, hey, man, here are some kids trying to find each other in this world, you know. Mm. Uh, and there's all these extra, extra forces of being famous. Yeah, right? of being famous. But... In terms of being the it guy, look, that never got to my head at all because, nice. um, you know, I that's why you're an it guy. I wish I could, I would have been. It guy. <laughs> no, well, you were it guy after what, man? Now all of a sudden I'm handsome because I'm on TV. <laughs> you, you, you couldn't see that back. Nah, come on, man, stop kidding me, man. Young Shasha, young Tonaxid. Yeah, so it's, it's those things for me and my circle of friends. Yeah. Yeah, I've got a close circle of friends from my day ones. Who, you know, ain't nobody from there going to tell you you're it guy. They're going to tell you you're the still Jonathan from back in the day, you yeah. know, who had bad skin and whatnot. Yes, I learned to understand. I'm sorry. Yeah. We keep it real. We keep it 100. And that's how, yeah, that's how it was for me. So yeah. if you ever did like a presenting gig or a movie and it was trash, they would tell you, like, dude, what were you uh, doing? They've told me. They've told yeah, me many wow. times, yeah, yeah, that it was trash. And what was I doing? Like, when I started acting at Rhythm City, yeah, my friends were like, oh, buddy. <laughs> buddy. It's so painful to watch. <laughs> ah, I was like, fuck sex. <laughs> fuck these niggas. <laughs> But with that said, it forced me to up my game. Yeah, yeah I don't want to hear it from a stranger. I don't want to hear it from a stranger. I don't want to hear it from a stranger. I don't want to hear it from a stranger. I don't want to hear it from a stranger. Ah, this is so quiet and quite a lot of But yeah. yeah, they've told me, they've told me, man. Yeah, it helps me. I need it. And what about infidelity? Did it, was that ever part in, um, um, in your relationship? Because I'm sure you attempted, dude, you know? Ah, 
I mean, every man is tempted. Yeah. You know what I mean? Every man is tempted. Um, it's about how you handle that temptation. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, at the end of the day, can you handle it if that happens to you? Oh. It's a question that you we should can ask. We can dish it up, but can we take it? I mean, you're going to break that up. <laughs> it was who? With who? How many times? What? <laughs> to be time? Be a woman. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> Straight, man. Yeah, yeah, man. So, yeah. Treat your loved one with respect, whoever it is out there, you know, because it's a small world. Shit comes out. And yeah, it comes with growth. Like yeah, that. and if you think you made the wrong choice, man, you can be like, whoa, time out. <laughs> Let's figure things out a little bit, you know? Yeah, yeah man. So, that's the school that I'm from. Yeah. Would he. Uh, just because you touched here and you have to move here doesn't mean good. You can't be like, "Isan, I made a mistake." As in Khalaga Kuru, in other cities, you time out, nyano, or you break up, nyano, or in in. Yeah, well, because you don't want karma to catch up with yeah. your bitch ass. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Karma is real. Yeah, though. shit is real, though. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask you. I forgot my question. Now. It was about. Was it three times? Three times three. <laughs> Have you ever been in it? <laughs> yeah. And not a real, real talk. Can someone? Can someone. <laughs> um. So, you're a longster dog. You know, you're celebrity, good looking, got money. I'm sure you're making money that time. I'm so still you're... making money. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Has a girl I'm... ever hurt you, bro? Have you ever been hurt by a girl? Oh, uh, yeah. You're yeah, kidding. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have everything. You've got it all, dog. Why would a girl want to hurt you? I mean, I hope it wasn't intentional. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, hey, man. You, you, in the bus with time, though, young Tony. Yeah, yeah. whatever. Um, a girl's cheated on me before. Yeah, I found out, you know, I was devastated. That's the worst, dog. Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't think we talk about it as men enough. Yeah, like, yeah. being cheated on as a guy, oh. It's crazy, dog. Yes. Hey, yes. fine. I was always with two zins here. And other. then when it's never happened, because it happened to me, like, when I was still young. And the yeah. first time, because I was like, out here, you know, cheating, like, it ain't a thing. Yeah. And then it happened to me, I'm like, hey, shit, yeah, this yeah. shit sucks, dude. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't like this. I don't like <laughs> this. <laughs> so from then on, I was like, nah, cheating's done for me, bro. For me, great job. For me, I was always a straight shooter. Yeah. You know what I mean? I was always like a straight guy in a relationship, right? So my eyes were rudely awakened when my first one of my first girlfriends cheated on me mm. back then it was high school early high schools uh, she was in an art school i was in the boys school like i'm saying right yeah. and in that art school it's a co-ed okay and all kinds of things happen and whatnot you know um so umuntu akasabhili that day i'm like mm. hey what's going on you know i call her crew but hey this person there we haven't seen her she used to be a border and what not we haven't seen her like in a week you know yeah. i'm like okay what up what up so i call the friends you know because i got a few friends there i call from the house phone like hey have you all seen i find out with the very big artists back in the day hey a week a whole week <laughs> Oh, my doggy. Oh, listen, man. I was like, yeah, that's a good artist, though. You know. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> if you had to choose anyone. Yeah. You know, but, but, oh, yeah. but fuck, man. It's yeah. not, at least yeah, it's not it a nigga from nice. the rugby team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It was an artist who was in his prime back then, yeah. Wow, well, look at you now. Does she know how big you are now? Well, yeah, yeah. I think she kind of And has. where's the artist now? <laughs> Yeah, he's somewhere there. He's yeah. Somewhere there, yeah. Anyway, uh, how's father changed you, man? It's amazing, right? Oh, it's amazing, man. It's amazing. You're a dad too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, come on, nice yeah. one, dog. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing, man. Now, um, I, I, when, uh, when, when my son, um, when my woman gave birth, because I was in the room, mm. my life changed that day. Yeah. When I saw him come out, like, oh. it, was, it was, yeah, life changing. We're just counting the amount of money that you're gonna spend. <laughs> <laughs> like, ka-ting, that piece, ka-ting, then, ka-ting, high school, ka-ting, ka. <laughs> but after that I've got so much respect for women man what yeah, they go yeah. through bro yeah, yeah 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 I also was in the room when uh, my son was uh, born yeah. yeah um I was actually besides the doctor the first person that Same, you know, yeah. who held him cut his belly 
And I was like, oh, man, this is real. This is real. This guy's a human being. He might look like an alien, but he's a human being right now. It's happening. It's happening, you know. Um, yeah, man. I was like, okay, let's uh, let's give you a good innings, boy. Yeah. Let, let's go. Yeah. You know, let's lift up our socks. Let's be responsible. Yep. Um, you know, yeah. let's go. Let's leave a legacy for this young man yeah. and his brothers and sisters that are still and to that's come. that's what it's about. Yeah, man. That's what yeah, it's about, yeah. though. I had to focus, like, yo, I had to cut out a lot of shit I was doing before, mm. before he came, because I was like, right, cool, it's not about me anymore, you know? Mm. Yeah. Like woman. Eh? Like woman. <laughs> <laughs> For starters. <laughs> Heard about you, like a <laughs> Right, so listen, Doc, uh, obviously you've been in front of the, our screens for the longest time. Yeah. Uh, what made you want to go behind the scenes and start pop? <clears throat> Um, because I know you guys started when you made a channel or you were hosting, yeah. Thomas was doing something else, yeah, yeah. and Scoop was also there. Yeah, yeah. That's when it started. was a bit before then, okay. you know. But our first on screen uh, thing in the yeah. uh, was on uh, Channel O, you know. Um, look, man, it was about growth, you know. I just done Rhythm City for like a good seven years by then. Um, I, 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 I've presented, you know, amounts of shows. I was like. I need to do something that's going to make sure my legacy will always live on. Yeah. You know what I mean? I need to do something that's going to be powerful and that's going to be impactful in the community that I live in. Not just act and smile and yeah. da 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 da. Yeah. My name has to be remembered, you know? And the only For way generations to, do to that, come. Yeah, and the only way to do that is to create your own lane, create your own shows, create your own content, tell your own stories. Yeah. You know, like they're doing it out there. There's a plenty of examples that you'll see out there right now. You know, people who are telling their own stories, who are creating their own lanes, will always be remembered. You know, and that's what we wanted to do. And I knew that I couldn't do it by myself. So I reached out to uh, homies in the industry that I respect yeah. a lot, who I thought that we have the same uh, way of thinking. And Boom. yeah, you know, Siabong, Wigaz, no Thomas Kumete, luckily they were <clears throat> willing board. to go on to this crazy adventure with me. Sabange uh, and Shayam, you know, mm. Forever Young was our first show. The reason that is because we knew, in order for the big broadcasters to take us seriously about the show that and shows that we want to produce and then direct and then create, we needed to show them first. So we went and shot Forever Young with our own money. Mm, that's yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, we went to Brazil. With, with our own, own money. Yeah. We went with our own camera crew. We shot. Wow. We came back. We put it together. We made it what Editing. it is. Edit. Wow. That's a lot of hard work, so now bro. when we go to a broadcast, then we're not asking them to give us a chance. You're like, we're boom, like, here's the final What do you product. think? Mm. You think you like? Do you think you might want to play it on your platform? No wonder that yeah. show was dope, but it's coming from the heart. Yeah, it was coming from the heart, my doggy. Yeah. <laughs> that show created Parental Advisory Productions. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. yeah. From that show on, about Mo Love, about, you know, we did it for other people as well, this reality thing. And we had our first um, uh, uh, scripted uh, content, Abu Mama, mm. just uh, two years ago. So, I'm told, I'm fine. Yeah. Just from that show. And how was it changing from being a talent into now you're a boss? It's your business. I've this always been the boss. Mm. Yeah, I've always been the boss. Even when I didn't have a business, but I was the boss of myself. You nice. know, I took myself as a business. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, when I'm negotiating, I'm okay. negotiating as the boss. I'm, I'm telling you, okay, Sharp, this is what I expect. This is what I'm worth. If you don't like it, it's all good. We can keep it moving. But I know I've paid my dues. Uh, young daughter. So mm. I've always taken myself seriously like that. Mm. So that transition into running your own business. Was uh, seamless. Yeah, well, look, it comes with more responsibilities. Uh, I won't say you can do it in your sleep yeah yeah it's one of the craziest things that we've ever done actually you know open up a business <laughs> yeah, yeah 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 it's one of the craziest things that we, entrepreneurs are crazy man they're crazy but it's worth it yeah at the end of the day it's worth it so yeah what were some of the challenges because with any business it takes about three years to, to just break even not even make profit mm. what were some of the challenges okay obviously for one forever young you had to shoot from your own pocket yeah yeah what were the, some of the other challenges? Of opening up a company? Yeah, opening um, up a business. Look, man, like I said, just because you came up with one good idea, forever young, doesn't mean all your ideas are good. Mm. And that's what we face now. Mm. You know? We like we thought that it was just going to happen overnight. Should have taken some of my ideas. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> well, not really. <laughs> nah. Boy, I'm sorry. 
<laughs> so yeah. yeah, we were faced with a lot of that stuff, man. Of, of reality hits in. Of okay, sharp guys, you had a dope forever young concept but these other ideas aren't as dope you mm. know so we had to go back to the drawing book at the same time we've got people to pay we've got lights to keep on running we've got you know, we've signed up for this big ass challenge you yeah. know what i mean yeah. so yeah man it was just that new world the new space that we're in and what happened with scoop because i was interviewing him a few weeks ago and you mentioned mm. he's no longer with you guys mm-hmm. yeah what happened there Look, I think Scoop, uh, he decided that he wants to go and do his own thing. Mm. Yeah. And uh, like I said, man, running a company is crazy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's crazy. And you have to uh, give it time. Yeah. Yeah, and you have to be devoted. And uh, I guess it was an honest chat between all of us. And he was like, yo, man, guys, check it out. There's a whole lot of crazy ass shit that I want to do. Mm. Uh, and I'm mm. tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. And instead of putting, if I go to moon, to put in, I'm going to go to the um, yo, let me be out. Yeah, yeah. So did you ever uh, do mushrooms with him? No, I haven't. Mm. Smoked weed though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, I've never ever done mushrooms. Yeah, as a nice. Yeah. No, no, no. I've never, I've never. Mm. I think I'll go crazy, man. Is it? <laughs> yeah, I've seen it on TV, and I was like, why would you do that shit? <laughs> Fuck, you know, why would you want to? <laughs> <laughs> you paraphrase a lot of hip-hop songs when you speak um how has hip-hop impacted your life like ah oh, i'm done hip-hop has been the soundtrack soundtrack of my life not only hip-hop man uh quieto yeah uh just as much mm. funny enough quieto and hip-hop um yeah. Which is why Channel O was such a good marriage, you know? Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. Which I could do that in my sleep. Mm. Yeah, I'm told. Yeah, man. Uh, I was raised by music. Music, I mean, I'm like the last born of out of two. You know, I've got an older sister. Uh, she's three years older than me. So, uh, obviously, she was ahead of me in terms of Tandy Zint. Yeah. So, Grand Sharp, I was like a loner. Mm. Yeah, I'm told. Mm. And the only rescue that I had was music. Mm. Grand Sharp. Yeah. So I used to just buy music in my room while I'm studying, uh, recite some lines. I even made a speech out of Nas. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got like high marks there. That's why they said, ah, what I don't find out, belongs in the debating team. I'm talking yeah. about challenge. But yeah. Not for, if I for the world. For, for detention, they made us, they had to say we must write an essay for three pages in detention. So I'm like, I know they never read this shit. <laughs> so I just wrote like the first few paragraphs wrote, and then I started writing Tupac lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> Dear Baba. <Mama>. Dear Baba. <laughs> uh, top five rappers? Let's start internationally. Internationally, um, all time. You know, of all time, Jay Z, no doubt, Hove. Come on. Yeah. Um, number two and three, you choose Biggie Smalls and Tupac. Okay. They're right there. Um, number four. Um, Kanye, Kanye West yeah. needs to make it in the top five. Yeah. Uh, number Kanye, five. Though, hey, Kanye. listen, I take Kanye whichever way. You just need to just <laughs> okay, Kanye, come in. You made it. <laughs> yeah, with your crazy ass self. He's yeah. crazy, man. Yeah. He's, he's needed. Mm. The game needs Kanye. Yeah. Yeah. And number five. Woo. Who would it be? Who would it be? Oh, uh, blah, 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 blah. Uh, my boy Nas would be there. No Slim Shady. Nah, no. not before oh, Nas. Indeed. Not before Nas, yeah. All right, locally? Locally. Um, 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 AKA, AKA. Yeah, yeah. I think uh, home is dope. Mega. You know what I'm Super saying? Mega. Yeah, yeah. Because I always have this conversation with people. I think AKA makes classic songs. Like in 10 years, we'll be listening to his music, bro. Look, the way, uh, yeah, man, all, all the music is classic, right? If you like it, if you dig it, right? Mm. I mean, it's not mm. But um, it's about how it makes you feel. Mm. Like, it's not like that, it's choice. <laughs> Ta-da! So yeah, man. I like. I think it's music. I think it's music. Yeah. Uh, so AKA. AKA Casper would definitely be in there. You know, uh, boys talented. He makes hits, no Visionary. doubt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Toda plus, what's uh, dope about him is that uh, he also takes quite a tracks, mm. quite a hits, yeah. and makes them relevant yeah. even yeah. today. You know. Yeah. Um. Um. 
Hey, pro kid. Oh, lead up kids. Hey. All right, kids. Jaya Cape. Jaya Cape. Um, actually, he was my favorite rapper of all time. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Pro. Yeah, he was amazing. Ah, uh, Dougie, I've got so many favorite tracks. This guy, Pro. Do I know you? One of my all time favorite is Celebrate. Featuring Marks. Celebrate. Oh, yes, celebrate yes, yes, yes. the day. Yes. Boy, that was like when I was like my career in the game was just, you know, I, I needed to take some time just to look back and be like, boy, you made it. <laughs> Shit, just celebrate, celebrate the day, man. You know, you know what I mean? The yeah. thought that you'd never make there, yeah, man. Yeah. Oh, so pro is uh, definitely in there. So what's that? Three. And did you ever see him perform? He was crazy <coughs> yeah, on stage, yeah, man. I've seen him perform energy. so many mm. times, so many times. He wasn't my favorite performer, though. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, he wasn't my favorite performer, but he was my favorite artist mm. to listen to and then to even watch in his interviews. You're yeah. so chill. You're so, such a classy guy. Mm. And so I'd, but then that, that's what I like. What's one of the things I like about you, right? You're like mm. a chameleon, dude. Uh, in terms of if you need to be heard, you can be heard. Sure, sure. If you need to be bougie, sure, 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 sure. Well, what up? We're drinking the you water. Hey, hey, what's up, bro? Keep it flowing. <laughs> you can do that. Yeah, if yeah, you're stepping yeah. in the office and you need to sure. be on your business, you can yeah, do that. That's what yeah. I like about you. You thank wear so you, many though. hats. Thank you, thank you. And I guess that's why I love acting mm. so much because the, the 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 world that I come from has trained me to wear so many hats. Yeah. You know, in Tanzania, I guy who went to a memorial see. And so I'll shop going to hip hop artist Marie Uma Medico. I want to show you who will be Marubu Chorana Vachirava. Okay, that one. That's yes. my default, man. Yeah. All right, so um, out of all those heads, which one do you prefer, though? Like, which one do you like? Presenting, acting, directing? Oh, man, that's one fair, dog. It's like asking me which one is my favorite kid. Yeah. yeah. You have to do one for the rest of your life. Okay, which one would it Boy, be? Man? Oof. I don't know, man. I think acting, bro. I think you're in an element when you're acting, bro. Yeah, it, it brings out a different me. Yeah. It brings out a different me. I love it. I love being in that world. Yeah. You know? Um, but I won't take anything away from presenting. Yeah. 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 And that, you're that, fucking good at it. When, when, when you're running that stage, when you're running that link, you know, no order cue, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then you turn around and you know you kill it. You know that song? <laughs> I know you'll be back. <laughs> yeah, man. So... Yeah, at the moment though, I won't lie, I'm in love with acting. Speaking about acting, Love Lives Here, it's your first rom com. Yeah, yeah. Uh, did you do it for the paycheck or to challenge yourself? Um, both. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I like that. <laughs> boss, <that> shit. <laughs> How was that like, man? Uh, man, it was a beautiful experience. Uh, we shot did you audition movie. for that? Yeah, I did. Okay. Actually, I did audition. Um, Who are the, some other people you auditioned with? Uh, I heard later on, because we, we didn't bump into each other, you know, when we were auditioning. I heard later on, uh, who's the hunk uh, on, uh, he's on, he's on Generations? Usia Bong. Usia. Usia Bong. Do you know him? He was on the Five Fingers of Masai. Okay, he's staring, staring, one. But he's a hunk. Hey, he's, he's, he's kidding it now. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he's kidding it. <laughs> I heard that he turned the yeah. roll down. Oh, he yeah, turned he down. turned the roll down. Mm. And, but luckily, I only heard this after we shot the movie. Mm. I'm like, come on, guys. <laughs> Shoot, man, I won't mess with my head like that. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, so I went in for the audition, man. Um, I like the character. I like the story. I like the script. And you can uh, resonate with the character. I can resonate with the character. I play Unkos Nati Shang in Tuana Sim a creative. He's a photographer, but he's got big dreams. Yeah. I'm like, guess what? Hey. Uh, and I wanted to kill it. I wanted to kill it, man, and just flex a little bit. Yeah, I heard. Uh, I haven't seen the movie, but yeah. I urge everybody to check it out because it's like a. To me, it sounds like a modern day Yeezo Yeezo. You know, it's got that vibe. Not really. It's a rom com. Yeah. So yeah. Yeah, yeah. I'm so, okay. Yeah. Yeezo yeah, Yeezo is like. <laughs> <laughs> not really. I'm talking but, uh, about the romantic side. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. You know, because Yeezo Yeezo was that guy from the hood who sure. fell in love with the guy from the birds. Okay, sure, sure. Was it Yeezo Yeezo Kazlam? One of the two. Yeah, sure, yeah, sure, yeah. sure. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's something like that. Yeah, something yeah. like that. But what's dope about this one, it's more relatable and it's more modern than that. You know what I mean? Mm. Uh, it's, it's, it's the life we live right now. Yeah. You know? So not only me and you can relate to it, but yeah. I think even our parents can relate to it because, nice. yeah, this is that life, you know? Um, it, it, it's, it plays on love and expectations of love yeah. and uh, where and how people think they're going to find love. I know there's a lot of ladies out there who think by the age of 
28, mm. I need to be married, and by 29, not my girl. I need to be <laughs> <laughs> clearly that joke. <laughs> She did the other way around. <laughs> she popped before she got that. <laughs> but Eddie, I hope she watches this. <laughs> yeah, I hope she watches this. You know, so it plays along those things and yeah. it breaks those rules, you know? Because, yeah. hey, man, life is life and does not necessarily happen the way that you think it's going to happen. Out of all the co-stars you've kissed, where does uh, Tana Tabuti rate? Ooh, she's right there in the top, 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 top. Listen, I've seen a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to. You know, <laughs> I'd say number two. Number two, ne? Number two. Who's number one? Ah, uh, yeah, we're not. <laughs> yeah, I'm not <laughs> yeah. I heard the sex scenes were crazy, man, on the movie. Yeah, man, you know, they're very um, beautiful, mm. actually. Mm. You know? I was thinking about it now, driving here to this interview, because yeah. I was from another interview, and the they were asking, first thing people, sex scenes, sex scenes! Yeah. And I was like, actually, you know, these sex scenes have some sort of meaning. Mm, it's art. It's art! So, I don't know, I don't want to give it away, yeah, yeah. but um, we push the envelope, yes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, it's not, it's not porn. Yeah. No, 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 it's tastefully done. Mm. We do push the envelope, but uh, it's still beautiful. Mm. It's beautiful. And there's a meaning, a storyline meaning to even the positions that they choose. Wow. You know what I mean? It's actually deeper than just Jeez. smashing. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, 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 it's a tied, dude. It's a tied. And you didn't, you didn't get it hard on at any point in time. I mean, look, dog, I'm human. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> See me out here with the gray hair, thinking, you know, <laughs> hey boy, <laughs> I'm, I'm still good, dog. Yeah, I mean, but those things happen, you know. Yeah. Uh, but you still have to be professional about yeah. it, you know. Love lives here. Make sure you check it out, Lungster. Thank you so much for coming. Thank through, you, Mitchy. You got the family, you got the company, you got the money. What's missing, bro? What's missing, bro? Oh man, because uh, I know you're always yearning for more, for learning, for growing, yeah, for bigger yeah, things. You yeah, know, yeah, you're never yeah. satisfied, dude. I am. I, I'm, I'm, I'm never satisfied, but I'm grateful. Mm. Yeah, I'm very grateful for uh, the, the little or the lots that I have, man. You know, yeah, yeah. I'm a truly blessed man. But then there's still a lot more to do. There's still a lot more lives to change and impact, you know? Yeah. yeah. Um, so there's nothing missing for you? Like I said, I'm going to be great until mm. I've fulfilled that. Sorry, I wasn't listening. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> clearly. I'm like, this thing, you're going to pull out the phone and go, on, so there's nothing. <laughs> I'm like, this motherfucker right here. No, I'm looking because my girl said I was asking some questions because she's a big fan. Is she listening or is she... Uh, no, no I, I, okay. on the way here, I told oh, her I'm getting an interview with you. Uh, you're not going to be a Okay. Yeah, so says, no, man. Yeah, there's still a lot more. There's still yeah. a lot more, Miki G. Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, she says, what's up with the gray hair? Is it a new style trend you're trying to start or is it generally you turning gray because the years have gone? <laughs> I get that a lot. Yeah. Um, uh, What's that? Uh, uh, inheritance. Long term, mind you. I inherited this. Oh. Uh, Itamalami is Snow White. But in the movie, it's not crazy, is it? Because it's not Lungi. Oh, hey! Just mindfuck me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I know it's an act, I feel like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I, I, I colored it in black, actually, yeah. which is kind of crazy, right? Yeah, it is, People man. dye their hair gray, not black. I actually dye my hair black. Black, yeah. Funny thing. So can I come back to you with some more shows, man? I think... I think you're going to have to, just to redeem yourself, dog, you know? Mm. Yeah, yeah, you're going to have to. But and this then, is actually one of the shows I pitched to you, because remember I wanted to do a modern-day Fat Joe show. Okay. And you were like, okay, but what makes you... The great one at, at interviewing. What makes you special about interviewing mm, something? Mm, yeah. mm, mm. And I couldn't answer. <laughs> you couldn't answer that. Yeah, but this will tell me. <laughs> uh, we can talk. We can talk. After yeah. I see how you cut this interview. <laughs> Thank you so what much, Mr. Man. Yeah, yeah so make a cheek. Good luck. Anything else you want to tell people? Where can they follow you? <coughs> boom, boom, boom. Yeah, man. Um, basically, Love Lives Here, out cinemas nationwide. Uh, go out there and check it out. Take your squeeze. Take your friends. Yo, it's not only just a chick flick. Mm. Uh, Namakeng, you can have a good time watching it. Uh, 
you know, the, the, the feedback that we've been getting from you people who've already been supporting has been incredible, you know? Things like, this is the best movie in South Africa I've ever seen. Those things are real. So shout out to you because it was made with love. And the rest of Africa and South Africa, go watch it. That's it. Love lives here. Boom. We are here. Podcast and chill. Matt G, the ghost lady, and Len Moleko.